Alright guys, so we've got a little bit of wind today and uh, I've got the uh, pulled the windmill outside here and set it up. Now keep in mind I am in a very turbulent area. There's the house, a tree, all these buildings around and the wind's blowing pretty good but I think it's too turbulent to actually get it spinning good. There it goes a little bit spinning there. So it's doing like it's supposed to um, and I think out in an open area without all the turbulent air um, it would spin a lot better. But anyway my project for today is going to be to uh, build a housing for the motor to protect it from the elements, to protect it from the rain and uh, snow and things like that to keep the water from getting, getting to it. Alright guys, so using our 6 inch stove pipe with caps, I ended up finishing the housing for our uh, motor. And what this will do is it will just keep the elements off of it, keep the, um, the rain and the snow and everything out of there. And then you've, we've still got a gap up here under the bottom, but that's good because that will allow that, that heat that produced by the motor to escape from the bottom there. Um, so yeah, it's just a piece of six inch black stove pipe. And uh, I'll take it apart and show you, because uh, it's just pushed together right now, I'll take it apart and show you what I did to make it. And uh, one other thing I had to do was take the grinder and grind a little bit off the back of the flywheel that the blades are attached to. And uh, that way it wouldn't rub on the housing when it spins. So uh, anyway we got that done and that that's also good because it'll lighten that flywheel up too. Not a whole lot but a little bit. So anyway let's pull it apart and I'll show you what I did. Alright so the back part is simply a piece of stove pipe with a cap on it. I'm just going to pull this off here. And it's a like I said before six inch stove pipe and uh, I cut it to 10 inches in length and uh, then put a cap on the end of it here to seal it up. This cap's really tight, which is good. That's what we want. We don't want it to come off of there. And then um, I notched out here so that it would fit around the base of the mount here. All right, and then I did the same on the front. Let me pull these blades off, this flywheel off, and I'll show you how the, the front plate is, or the front cap plug is mounted on here so that it doesn't come off and then we just just slide this onto the, the cap and that should protect our motor. Alright, so you can see here where I actually took the grinder to the back of the flywheel and uh, I pretty much just smoothed it out a little bit with the grinder, I probably took in total maybe an eighth of an inch off of it. And uh, like I said, just using a regular grinder wheel and then grinded the inside pieces down a little bit here too so that they don't rub and it's all flush. Um, so just grind, grinded that down a little bit and uh, made it a little bit more narrow. So, and it's just enough that it works. If I needed to, I could grind a little bit more off, but I don't think I need to. All right, so the front cap itself is simply riveted on. Uh, back here behind the motor there's a plate and that plate is actually attached to the motor itself. So all I did was notched out the cap in the front so that it would fit around this flange right here and then notched out the cap underneath so that it will fit up around the frame of the mount itself and then simply riveted it to it with uh, some eighth inch aluminum rivets and uh, then went back uh, before I riveted it I actually took because these caps or these plugs they're crimped and uh, they have a little bit of a lip that sticks out so I took it over to the vise and pounded that lip down and uh, then took a grinder wheel and just kind of grinded it off smooth so that it's got a nice smooth, nice smooth finish. 
So with that on there, all I have to do is it stays attached to the motor and with it cut out here, it's still enough room to get a wrench up in there to, uh, to get to the bolts to take the motor off if I need to. So um, that's that. That's all we had to do on that. And then that cover will go right over the back and protect it from the elements. So the only thing I need to do to the motor, or I'm sorry, to, the, uh, to our housing steel is uh, I need to drill a hole in where the wires are going to actually come out of the housing and then into our frame here. Um, so that's all we have to do there. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Uh, I know it was a little short video, but it was kind of the only thing that I needed, I had left to do before I get ready for paint. Um, I still need to finish the battery box up, but I'll show you guys, all I'm going to do with that is just put some uh, expanded steel in there, I think, and just close that in. Um, so uh, I'll show you the finished part of that once I get it done. Uh, it's nothing fancy. Um, but anyway, I just needed to finish up this motor mount housing um, so that I could get it into paint. And uh, then once it's all painted up, then we will start on the electrical um, and run our finished electrical in, install our battery, and uh, put it out in the yard so uh, it will be all done. So anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you haven't seen all the videos up to this point, go back and check out the other videos. I'm pretty sure this is video number seven. Um, six or seven or maybe eight, I can't remember. So anyway, go back and check out the other videos. There's a link to subscribe to my channel at the end of this video, so I encourage you to do that. And uh, that way you'll get an update anytime uh, I post any of the new uh, wind turbine uh, videos or anything else that you might be interested in so go check that out uh, Don't forget to rate the video and leave any comments or questions that you might have about the wind turbine project in the comments below I'll be happy to answer for you. So until next time I'm Bobby Hughes with HP firearms and uh, Get out there shoot some guns be safe and most importantly have fun. See you guys later